You're very welcome to the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. And in our Gospel, we find Jesus is in his hometown of Nazareth in the synagogue. And he talks about various things and the reaction from the locals, the people of Nazareth, is very interesting. Our second reading is powerful and profoundly beautiful. And I really want to focus on that reading. It's Paul to the Corinthians and is used about uh, in marriage, especially in marriage ceremonies. And um, it's about love is always patient and kind and never boastful or conceited. More later. Psalm for today is about our origins. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. Notice the words formed, consecrated. And then finally, I've appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And then the essence of our second reading, love is patient and kind, faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these. And here we have Luke's Gospel, proclaimed for us by Sister Anastasia. So let's listen and look and read the Gospel of Luke. I love the two images on the left hand side. Uh, the cross, the greatest of these is love. And then below that, the flowers with faith, hope and love. And again, the greatest of these is love. So let us remind ourselves of the essence of Paul. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love, love does not come to an end. Love delights in the truth. Love is never jealous. Love is never resentful. Love is never rude. Love is never selfish. Love is always ready to excuse. Love is always ready to trust. Love is always ready to hope. Love is to endure whatever comes. And then finally, love is, what is love for us? What is love for you? So I searched around for uh, three or four things that strikes me about love. First of all, love is kind. For beautiful eyes, Look at the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And as you walk through life, walk with the knowledge that you're never alone. Now that is true of society generally, but I think it's specifically true of the church. We're never alone. And we're never alone, even in the pandemic. We have found wonderful ways to be with others in the last two years, prayerfully, spiritually, profoundly through the internet and through Zoom. And love is always truthful. Being truthful may hurt us for a while, and sometimes the truth does hurt, but a lie hurts forever. Paul says that love is never selfish. Selfishness, selfishness is not living your life as you wish. 
It is asking others to live their lives as you wish. I think another word for that sort of stuff is dictatorship. And I think Oscar Wilde is right that sometimes we try to control other people without allowing them to be themselves. And trust takes years to build. How true that is in family life, in community life. And it takes seconds to break and forever to repair. Beautiful, powerful and true. Once trust is broken, sometimes it never is repaired. And Paul talks about love and hope. Desmond Tutu says that hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. Desmond, of course, who died a few weeks ago, was a powerful, charismatic figure, not just in South Africa. I've been to South Africa. It's a lovely country with lovely people, but all kinds of problems. And Desmond was able to stand, even though he was a very small man, he was able to stand above and be a person of hope, not just for South Africa, but indeed for the whole world. He was a man of integrity, a man not afraid to laugh with people and sometimes dance with people. And he did that powerfully and beautifully. Hope is being able to see that there's light despite all the And we're back in the synagogue in Nazareth with Jesus, the Saviour, the professional lover of the world. And I found these beautiful sentiments expressed by George Roop in a book called The Compassionate Saviour. And Ruth says, my cup of love holds the tears of the world. My cup of love are the cries of all the peoples. My cup of love are the voices of the silent ones. My cup of love it are the emptiness of the poor. My cup of love are the pains of those who have died. My cup of love are the agony of the earth. My cup of love are the screams of those at war. My cup of love are the victims of abuse. My cup of love is the silent cries of the mentally ill. My cup of love are the pains of parents and grandparents. My cup of love are the pains of children and grandchildren. But most of all, my cup of love holds faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. Those challenges that we have heard in our scriptures today, I wish you blessings galore for the week ahead. Thank you.